Good evening, everyone. Well, day one of the McInnes Holiday Classic kicked off today at Michigan Tech. Last year's winner, the Houghton Gremlins, kicked off the day in game one, looking for their third straight tournament title. Gremlins and Jets making their way onto the ice. The Gremlins had a 3-2 lead heading into the third period, and it only grew from there. Doss McKay will give to Alan Germu, who gives back to McKay, and the one-timer beats the Jets goalie. Gremlins up 4-2. The Gremlins attack would continue. Jacob Cruz finds Reed Pedela, who buries in goal number five for Houghton, and the Gremlins, they push the lead now to five to two. Houghton had one more goal in round one. Jordan Mewborn sends a shot on goal, but it'll be Doss McKay again. He knocks it down and buries the puck yet again. The Gremlins go on to win by a final score of six to two. So who will the Gremlins be facing tomorrow in the championship game? Will game two feature the Bulldogs of Hancock against the Copper Kings of Calumet? Winner goes to the championship game and receives the Copper Island Classic Trophy. The game was scoreless after one, but Calumet would strike first in the second. Davin Leto will rocket this shot on goal, and Dawson Kiro can't stop it. It's 1-0 Copper Kings. Hancock, though, would even the playing field in the second as well. A few missed attempts to score, but finally Reed Hammer will get the one-timer in. The game is all tied at one. The game would stay tied until around two minutes remaining in the third, and Calumet's Robert Urkla would come out of the penalty box to clean up the shot by Graham Franti. Urkla beats Kiro, and the Copper Kings go up 2-1. to one. The Copper Kings hold on to that score to claim the Scherf Memorial Trophy and will face off with Houghton tomorrow. So what is the schedule like for tomorrow? The Jeffers Jets will take on the Hancock Bulldogs for the third place game. Both teams are looking for a bit of redemption from their losses today. In the championship game, the Calumet Copper Kings will look to play spoiler to the Houghton Gremlins. The Gremlins are looking for their third straight McInnes Holiday Classic victory and their 12th all time. Calumet was looking for victory number 11 and their first since 2010. Two Escanaba alumni hockey games went down in Escanaba today. The first game featured players from 2004 and before. The black team won eight to seven and Game two, players from 2015 to 2015 squared off with the black winning 13 to 8. Levi Wonder scored eight goals. You can visit us online at UpperMichiganSource.com. Well, to beat out a golfer and a horse, yeah, you're doing something right. Steph Curry, I don't know if Steph would win in a race with a horse, but you know, in that moment, he can say, you know what, I beat a guy, or well, I beat a horse that was probably the biggest in racing history sport, or well, at least in horse racing history for years. I mean, first Triple Crown winner in how many years was it like? I mean, it was almost like 60, 50, 60 years. So, I mean, it could be even more than that. But that was a big moment this year in Steph Curry. Good job. Well, he can't run a race, and the horse can't shoot a basketball, so. The horse could shoot a basketball. We don't know. Out. I mean, Air Bud used to shoot balls, you know, the dogs. So maybe the horse can knock one in with his nose. We don't know. Well, you got to diversify your talents, I guess. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Thank you, Ethan. You're welcome.